<laughs> Fuck. So before we bring this thing out on the road, I want to do my best to protect it as best as I can, especially the paint. So what I'm going to do is uh, the same as what I do with my RX-7. I'm going to give it a coat of seal and uh, a coat of wax, maybe actually two of both, so uh, that the paint stays this nice as long as possible. So what we are going to need is uh, a sealant. I've been using this power lock from Manzerna for a while now. I really like it. It's a very good seal. And um, so first we will apply two coats of seal and uh, wait uh, a couple of hours, maybe 24 hours or more, and then uh, use this uh, wax, this extreme liquid carnabo by the chemical guys. It's also a stuff I've had, I have been using on my RX-7 for a while. Uh, and uh, after the seal we use two coats of wax. Then this coat of protectant should last for a while. So seal, wax, some microfiber pads and a microfiber cloth to remove the excess. Oh, god damn it. I use a microfiber cloth to remove the residue. So let's get straight to it. So the first coat of seal is on, now we wait for it to dry and uh, haze a bit. You will be able to tell when it's dry and uh, ready to remove when you rub your finger on it and uh, it stays clear after that. I'll uh, show you in a minute. So I hope you'll be able to see it, but this is not dry yet. You can see my fingerprint on there, it's just for testing purposes. So I'll just uh, clear it up a bit. So it needs a bit of more time. So it's been a while. I've actually had some dinner. So uh, this uh, sealant is all dried up. As you can see, if I rub it, there are no stripes anymore and it actually gets removed by rubbing it. This means that the sealant is dry and is ready to get removed. So let's take uh, this microfiber cloth and uh, clean everything up. Step two is now to add a another seal, another coat of seal, but that will be for tomorrow. Uh, but for you guys, it will be in an, a second or two. So the second coat of seal is actually the same as the first one. And for the wax, it's also the same. So uh, apply, let it dry and wipe it off. So let's apply some wax and then uh, this thing should be all set to go outdoors. The wax is all dried up, so it's time to remove it with a microfiber cloth. And basically just uh, wipe down the whole bike.
steady. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Damn, this fuel filter. Small test drive, a bit of a shakedown ride. But uh, yeah, it appears it still has some issues. For first, the left shock came loose. Uh, I thought it was uh, all tight, but apparently not. But uh, the biggest issue is that uh, the fuel system is already clogged up. So as you can see, the filter has a lot of uh, dirt in it, so it did its job a bit. But uh, apparently this fuel tank is really dirty on the inside, which I didn't know or didn't realize. Actually, I'm going to check it. Yeah, fuel already turned out brown, but at first sight the tank is actually not that bad, but maybe there was a bit of debris on the bottom side. The painter did mention, however, that uh, when he put it in the oven to cure the paint, it started leaking a bit of oil or f yeah, some oil residue out of the uh, fuel petcock uh, tap. So probably a bit of uh, residue oil in the tank that started uh, leaking or seeping. But uh, maybe that also loosened up debris and corrosion in the tank. I don't know. I'll have to flush it and uh, yeah, clean out the carb again. So I'm going to drain the fuel and uh, flush the tank a couple of times. Hopefully I'll get uh, most of the, the dirt out. And uh, maybe this afternoon uh, try to remove and clean the carb before I leave. We'll see how far we get. So I just drained the fuel tank. As you can see, a lot of dirt. This fuel is already darkish brown. I didn't realize there was so much dirt in this tank, which sucks. Uh, I'm probably just going to use uh, some extra old fuel and flush this tank out. got most of the dirt out of it so now I'm going to uh, rebound the tank properly and uh, clean the car up again and hopefully it stays all right then so I got the carb out and uh, I'm going to quickly disassemble it and clean it in the ultrasonic cleaner and hopefully I can still make a little test drive this afternoon Everything is back together. I ended up uh, flushing the tank two or three times and uh, it's now ready to get filled up again. I've, I hope I got most of it out. I've added a new fuel filter just to be sure and uh, I'm ready to go for a new test drive. But uh, that will be for in another video because uh, tomorrow I'm leaving the country for work. I'll be out for two weeks. No worry, the uploads will keep coming. It will be from another bike, but when I come back, I will get straight back to Kenny and get it up and running again. So uh, if you want to see more of this, subscribe. If you've liked it, please leave a like and see you in the next one. Peace.